Here we have a generic Power Apps application. On the left, we can see the sitemap. This area displays all the tables that can be viewed inside of the app. For this demonstration, we will mainly be concerned with the leads and opportunities tables. We must start with creating a business lead. By using the sitemap on the left, we can access the leads table by clicking on leads. We can create a new lead by navigating to the top of the screen and clicking the new button. This will display the form used to create a new lead in the leads table. The form denotes all relevant data used to create a lead record in the leads table. Forms are highly customizable and fields can be added or removed to suit the needs of the customer. Above the form, we can see the business process flow. This flow is called lead to opportunity. Its purpose is to track various business leads for the company and once the leads are qualified, promote them to business opportunities. The business process flow will then continue to track the opportunity until it is closed as being won or lost. Each step in the business process flow is represented by a note on the bar. This flow has four steps, qualify, develop, propose, and close. Each of these stages represents a part of the opportunity advancement process. Note that the fields that must be filled out to save the record are denoted by a red asterisk. We will fill out the form with the appropriate data and then save the record. We will now run through the business process flow from start to finish. The first step in the business process flow is the qualify stage. Let's examine the components of this stage. There are three fields available here. Two of them are required, meaning that the business process flow cannot be progressed to the next stage unless contact and account contain data. We can fill in the appropriate data by using the lookup function attached to both the required fields. A lookup retrieves data from another table in the solution and allows it to be available for use elsewhere. In this instance, the contact data is retrieved from the contact table. There is also a business rule applied to the fields on the form. A business rule is an action that is applied to a field or table when specific conditions are fulfilled. For instance, in this case, when a contact that already exists is chosen using the lookup, the contact fields are locked by the business rule, preventing the data from being edited. Conversely, if the contact data is added to the form for a contact that does not exist in the table, the fields will remain unlocked and the new contact will be added to the contact table with the values that have been added to the form. This functionality is also the same for the accounts field, which contains a lookup to the accounts table. The fields will take a little while to populate the data from the tables. We can click the refresh button on the tool ribbon above and see the data that had been retrieved. Before moving to the next stage, we will be prompted to create a corresponding opportunity record. After clicking the Create button, we will be taken to the Opportunity form. Name the opportunity accordingly and fill out the fields as required before clicking the Save button on the tool ribbon above. Note that we cannot move to the next stage until we create and save the opportunity record. We can click the Next Stage button and move on. The second stage is called the Develop stage. The second stage has three fields, but only stakeholders identified is required. We can fill out the fields as needed and move to the next stage. This stage is called Propose. Here we check to see if the documentation required from the customer has been uploaded before moving to the next stage. You also have the option of adding a URL link for the website if one exists. The next stage is the close stage. This stage concludes the flow and involves confirmation of payments regarding the business opportunity and whether the opportunity was concluded as won or lost. This concludes our short demonstration. If anything showcased today looks like it will be useful to your business, feel free to book a consultation with us via email at sales at or call one 868 674 9788.
Thanks for watching.